Kiete Lebendo, An Karabasi Katalabara, A Shantalabakati and Tarabakapa. But the Bible said that the blood of bulls and ram could not satisfy the full requirement of the Lord for God. So the scripture says in Hebrews chapter 10, 4 to 7, that God prepared a body for Jesus to carry on the sins of mankind, both in the present, in the past, and in the future. I read Hebrews 10, 4 to 7. He says, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh in the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offerings thou would not, wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared for me. Invent offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast no pleasure. Oh, my God, Tara Bakasaya. First Peter 1, 18 to 19 says, For you know that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that we were redeemed from empty way of life, handed down to us from our ancestors, but with the precious, the precious, the precious blood of Jesus, a lamp without blemish or defect. The benefit that the blood of Jesus gives us is so enormous. The blood satisfies every requirement for the forgiveness of our sins. The blood has a voice speaking good things on our behalf. As in Hebrews 12, 24, Rade City, the blood moves us from the old covenant into a new covenant in God. Uh, the blood is a seal on all the blessings we have in the new covenant. The blood, it gives us access into the presence of the Father. The blood becomes a covering or a garment protecting us from the weapons of the enemy. And the, and the songwriter said that blood has not lost its power. It's still potent. It's still doing wonders. When we say the blood satisfies every requirement for the forgiveness of sins, it means that every legality, every technicality, Every demand of sin and death was fully paid by the blood of Jesus. So what the blood of bulls and goats were trying to do, Rabashata, was just a foreshadow telling of the blood of Jesus, which was yet, which was, which was yet to come at that time. My question is. If the blood of boots and rams was able to pre prevent the, the, the spirit of death, and Talaba, the angel of death, yes, and from entering the homes of the Israelites at the time, how much more when we apply? The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood. The blood of Jesus is the currency the Father had to use to pay for the redemption of the soul of man. Silver could not do it. Gold could not do it. Blood of rams and bulls and goats could not pay for it. It took the blood of God, the Son, to redeem us fully and the blood of Jesus is the accurate, the only accurate sacrifice that also grants us permission into the presence of the Lord. So that when in Hebrews the Father says, Come boldly, we are only able to come boldly because the curtains was torn into two when Jesus died on the cross. That curtain was like the veil of his body that was torn into two. Rather secreted that we can all come, that we do not need anymore a high priest. Because the greatest high priest, the great high priest who, who is Jesus has entered the, the, the holy of holies. And Carrying his own blood, not the blood of other people. Rather, say, when the high priest had to enter those places, they went with somebody else's blood. But Jesus came with his own blood. 
enter in the presence of the Father for us. That when we sin, we can call on the blood of Jesus. That when the enemy comes in like a flood, coming to take his pound of flesh, we can call on the blood of Jesus. Yes, 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 the blood of Jesus also heals us from every disease, Isaiah 53. Three, verse five, a shank. I says, by his stripes we were healed. The stripes, there is blood in that stripe. No, jelly become durable. Kunzili be raba ba ba ba. Father, we are so grateful for sending your son. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice of your body and for the flow of blood so that we can we can have our our way. Not that we go about sinning, that, 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 but that when we fall short, we can enter your presence because of the blood because of the blood and so let mando ike sia kupanda rebe sok and i witness and i saw a woman of god that the enemy came at her and the Lord had told her use the blood because technically you see she fell short but the Lord reminded her use the blood just tell the enemy that the blood of Jesus has taken care of all these things I know I don't stand the chance if it comes to standing the chance I don't stand the chance but the blood has gone ahead of me ahead for me that when we apply the blood yeah, in all circumstances believe in it it will work for us in the name of jesus oh oh the blood of jesus it washes why as no rabbi see the blood of jesus moves us from the old covenant into a new covenant this was how the old covenant was the high priest was the only one that could go into that holy place to offer the sacrifice of blood and when he goes there he goes there with an inferior blood that is the blood of rams and bulls and delivery not his own like we mentioned earlier on and he goes there every year now it could have been every day you sin go but because of the benevolence of the lord he made it every year and but when the blood of Jesus and Kataya opened that curtains for us, we entered into a new covenant. He tore the curtains into two that we can come ourselves. And you see, that holy of holies that he entered, it was not the one built with human hands, as, as was in the old covenant, but that he entered uh, in the heaven into where the throne of God is in Delebi, presenting his blood, pleading for us. That any time the father sees the blood, his message is provoked. The blood is also the seal of that new covenant. For under the old covenant, Moses sprinkled blood as a seal mimicking the sprinkled blood of Jesus, which was yet to be shed at the time. Hebrews 9, 19 to 21, it says, we were told. No, no, it says, Moses would take the blood of goat's calf and water and hyssop and sprinkle on the people. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people, According to the law, he, he, he took the blood of calves and goats and water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book, the books or the book and the people. He sprinkled the blood, the blood of the goats and the boots on the people when, when he had finished all that he was doing. And he will say, this is the blood of the testament which God had enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood, both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry, the books, the vessels, everything was sprinkled with that blood. Jesus' blood is the real blood of the sprinkling, as we see in um, Hebrews 12, 
24. It says, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, mm, the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus is also called the blood of sprinkling because it is sealing. It is sealing for us. Every blessing we have in the new covenant. Exodus 22. 2, 6 to 8 also say, we will do everything the Lord has commanded. We will obey. Then Moses took the blood from the basins and splattered it over the people, declaring, look, this blood confirms the covenant of the Lord. The covenant the Lord has made with you in giving you this instruction. The blood of Jesus is the blood of sprinkling. It has been sprinkled on us Stealing every blessing in this new covenant in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in Hebrews 9.14 also. The Bible tells us the blood purges not only our bodies, but also our consciences. Consciences. Which was what the blood of bulls and rams and goats could not do. The blood of Jesus purges also our consciences. Hallelujah. We are grateful to the Father for all these blessings we have in his body, in the word of God, in the name that he has given to us, given us authority over everything. And also in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is our covering in any way. Ishan Torobo, when he said to the Israelites, apply the blood on your homes, on the doorposts and everything. And when I when I see the blood, I will pass over. Liko Shataya, if the blood of books can do that, how much more? How much more the blood? Ishan Dalad the innocent, unblemished blood of the Lamb of God. We believe in the blood of Jesus. This evening, we just want to remind ourselves one more time. We want to say to ourselves, we believe if, if for any reason at a point in time, we forgot about the power associated with the blood, then we, we remind ourselves again, that there is power in the blood of Jesus. Where we do not stand, to come into the presence of the Lord as the blood paves the way. The Bible says, who then shall lay a charge against us? It is not the Lord, for he himself died for us. It is Jesus that justifies. It is Jesus that judges, yet he has died for us. He shall be believe, we will believe in the blood, in the power, in the blood of Jesus. He sandoro bokoshiya tele baraba kum belebea rodoto zike tele baraba. As we take the blood this evening and we eat of the flesh this evening, we want to remind ourselves one more time. Maybe we have made it a routine. We come and we go rather sire doing the same thing this evening. We don't want to do business as usual. In fact, we want to even give reference to the blood and the body of Jesus Christ, to the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above all name, that he had to go through humility, he had to go through a lot to end. Radosia, the Bible says, therefore, he has been given a name that is above all other names that are the mention of the name name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. We take of the blood this evening. We eat of the body this evening. We do it in the name of Jesus. We do it applying the words of the Jesus. What fun. Wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me all again? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow. The heart makes me white as snow. On a father fountain, no, oh, oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And the robot who say it all about the antole be cancelled. Be rabble shake it. A young lady had a vision of heaven, 
And, and she said that she was permitted to see uh, the Father, the Son, the, the thrones, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And she saw that, that how she could identify Jesus was that his hair had the blood around the tip of it, that precious blood. That innocent blood. That blood is so precious. The Bible even says that we, we were not redeemed by silver or gold, but by the precious, so precious, precious blood of Jesus. Today we want to affirm to ourselves that we believe in that blood. We want to, we want to rewind our minds again. We want to tell ourselves again that there is power in the blood. The Lord gave it all. For in the blood is life. For there is life in the blood. Every creature has its life in the blood. The Lord who it all for us. And we saw when one, one drop of the blood whilst he was on the cross, when it fell on the on the ground, the whole earth shook and they left the cancer. And the soldier that stood by said, Oh, indeed, Father, we honor you for the blood that you shed for us. What will we have done without your blood? Without you giving us your blood. Oh, what a precious thing you've given us. We worship you. Thank you for breaking your body for us in the name of Jesus. Sisters, as we prepare our communion today, I want us to acknowledge the, the power and the blood and the body of Jesus one more time. In the Kassaya, just a minute or two to, to think about it again. And and tell yourself today is not business as usual. Rather say that as I eat it, I eat, I'm, I'm taking the real food. For the, he says that but my body is real food, and my 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 blood is real drink. Can we begin to prepare our substances in the name of Jesus? In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I declare that all the elements represented here this night, whether biscuits, bread, water, drink, is no longer ordinary. That they represent fully the body and the blood of Jesus. Therefore, any power associated with the real body of Jesus and the real blood of Jesus is associated with our our elements and we also apply the name of jesus the power with the name of jesus as we read the scriptures first corinthians 11 23 to 26 says for i received from the lord what i also passed on to you the lord jesus on the night he was betrayed to bread and when he had given thanks, Father, we thank you for this body, Arataya. He broke it. I break my own bread, Ishataya. Remembering how you were shattered for me, for my family members, each and every member in my family. Ishatala, my sister, Ilibriadada, Ishalabara. He says, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. But can we eat of the flesh of Jesus? Jesus. Take it in Jesus' name. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this is the new covenant in my blood. Do this. Whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. So whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until his, he comes. Can we drink of the blood of Jesus? Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
And we repeat these words humbly. I ask Isaiah 53 verse 5. It says, but he was pierced for our transgression. However you are, you can say it too, but he was, you can use your own name or you can say mine, but he was pierced for my transgressions. He was crushed for my iniquity. And the punishment that brought me peace was upon him. The punishment that brought me peace was upon him. And by his wounds, I was healed. I am healed. By his wounds, I am healed. Therefore, Father, we ask you, O oh Lord, if there is any sickness that is your mercy, as you look at the blood, O oh Lord, that you heal us, O oh God, any diseases that have been lingering for long, for years, and that, about, that say they will not go, O oh Lord, today, O oh God, that you remember us and you heal us. Let these diseases go in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we are talking about your blood that you shed for us. You bore our pains. You bore our transgressions. If there is any, any, any transgression preventing us from receiving healing, oh God, that you blot them out with your blood. And give us this healing today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Thank you, all sisters. God bless you abundantly for staying. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. God bless you so much, Sister Maureen. God bless you for leading us so beautifully in a time of worship and in a time of being in the Father's presence and sharing communion together. Thank you for such a time for the Father, time of obedience before the Father. Sisters, we just want to spend this few minutes that we've got before we hand over, just going before our Father, just going before our Father and Laying it all down 